H-1B visas, India top list of so after India, China is the second largest beneficiary at 13.2 percent, close to 68 percent of H-1B registration for year 21 were from India. The United States Citizenship and Immigration Services said after India, China is the second largest beneficiary at 13.2 percent. So nearly 2,75,000 unique registrations were submitted during the initial registration period. Nearly 81 percent of submitted registration were for potential beneficiaries from India that is 67.7 percent and China 13.2 percent total applicant roughly 46 percent of all registration were for prospective beneficiaries with US advanced degree the USCIS had earlier announced that the H-1B quota 65,000 for 21 was over in addition also issue another 20,000 H-1B visas for those who have earned master and higher degrees from a US institution the fiscal year begins from October 1 2020 eligible applicants notified by the US government can start applying for H-1B petition from April 1, 2020. Unlike earlier, the newly implemented H-1B electronic registration process mandates the employer to register with the US CIS by March 20, after which the lottery process starts. After the lottery, the agency announced the potential beneficiaries who can start the application process. India and its tech workforce has been one of the biggest beneficiaries of H-1B visa given to highly skilled foreigner workers. Given that the US accounts for about 60 to 80 percent of revenue for Indian IT firms, H-1B visa are important for tech workforce. Every year, thousands of Indians IT and tech workers travel to the US like like for 2021, close to 50% of H-1B visa court goes to Indian, followed by the Chinese. It would not be too much of a stretch to say, for most Indians, H-1B is a passport to getting PR in the US and later in citizenship. According to the Census Bureau 2018, American Community Survey, there are about 26.5 lakhs Indians as of 2018, up to 50% from 2010. However, after the Trump administration came, there was clampdown of H-1B visa to Indians resulting in thousands of techies returning home. Number of H-1B visa rejection to Indian firms such as TCS, Infosys, Wipro increased since 2017. Visa renewal become a challenge as well as since the visa holders begin to get more requests for evidence to furnish additional documents. So what are the new challenges in current scenario? So the recent novel outbreak is not helped the case of H-1B visa holders either. The US has more than 2 lakhs cases with the there are already talk of layoffs and criticism against migrant workers, especially Indian H-1B visa holders. US tech workers and US body representing technology workers in American in a petition to the American president has asked the government to suspend both H-1B and H-2 visa temporarily. We urge you to pause the H-1B visa program that would bring in 85,000 workers this year and suspend the recently approved addition of 35,000 workers for the H-2B visa. Or all the importance of workers should be undertaken with great caution during this period of Tremendous uncertainly, H-1B workers are worried. All these have made Indian H-1B workers worried as they state at layoff at the back of this spreadness of, uh, you know. So now currently working with the US government to help the H-1B workers who are up to renewal. Some of the visa holders are asking the government 180 days stay instead of 60 days post their unemployment period. As per current rule, a H-1B visa holder should leave the US along with their family member within 60 days of losing their jobs.